at six, horse rescue workers making big bids to keep horses off the dinner table. They are bidding against so-called kill buyers, and they slaughter the horses and sell the meat to places in Europe. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is in Fort Collins with more. It's rare that rescue groups work together because they each have their own focus, but with 180,000 horses being shipped across the border for slaughter every year, they wanted to do something to make a difference. They come from across Colorado and neighboring states. Some horses are old, some young. Some sick, some not. The rescue folks want to nurse them back to health and find forever homes. A lot of people think that horses are livestock. We don't really think so. We're kind of, you know, they're up there with dogs. They're like man's best friend. The kill buyers want to sell them to slaughterhouses that ship the meat to Europe. And it's amazing to me that these horses ended up at the auction because these are basically pets that have somehow gone down a bad path. It absolutely is heartbreaking not to be able to save them all. Terry Allen says the rescue organizations raised extra money so they could bid on the horses, knowing the kill buyers would bid up the price. She said some of those buyers play mind games with the rescue folks, as this text shows. Charlie said he's buying everything today because he needs a tax break. I asked what happens to the horses that are saved. They're going to get spoiled rotten. <laughs> They're going to get too many cookies and loving, and they are going to think they died and went to heaven. All right. Out of 21 horses, donkeys, and mules the rescue group successfully bid on and saved 19 of them.